A warm welcome to all of you. It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty today. Yeah, thanks, John. What a brilliant atmosphere we've got in this stadium today. I mean, both sets of players must be really looking forward to this, as we are. So, here we go then. Shars. Wijnaldum. Sends it towards the centre. The finish was not what was required. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence unsettled, and now they've got to back it up. Charles. Sloppy pass, intercepted. They're off on the counter. He's on a real charge. Now the chance, bursting forward, still in play, and it's a really well-taken goal. It's 1-0. The keeper made a mess of it, and he's been punished. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. They've gone ahead so early in the game. Well, I think if they were feeling a little tense and nervous beforehand, that goal will make life a lot easier, provided now they don't just sit back and defend it. Looking to carve open the defence. Chance! If the support had come quicker, that wouldn't have broken down. A fine display of slick passing. It's cleared away. Sends it to the middle. Cleared away from danger. We're in the 30th minute. Wijnaldum. Here's a cross, and they've hooked it clear. And the cross met firmly. Fred. He's going it alone. A chance. Jordi Buish. And on he goes. Skillfully hit. They've done it. It's a two goal lead now. That was a teasing finish. Well, although the keeper looked an imposing figure then, he remained totally unfazed and took the chance with great ease. So, it's now two without reply. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1-0 can be a fragile scoreline, but now that they have that extra cushion, two should be enough. There is the end of the first period. Well, halfway through the game and they're in absolute control of it now. I just wonder whether they look to try and treat the fans second half. They should. They have a cushion of a 2-0 lead. So away we go then for the second half. He can take the shot on here. 
Well, he didn't have much on there. I thought he had to go it alone. Lurling tried to play it through. Now he's ready for a shot. Opportunity here. He scored! They have a three-goal advantage, and that should be enough. He's got two in this game. He's on a hat-trick. We resume again. The score is 3-0. Charles. A long ball forward. No, possession lost. Plays it upfield. He wants to get a cross in from here. It's going right across the goal. Oh, yet another goal. They're clearly in no mood just to sit on their lead. That was a great header. Our strikers love a diving header, and he timed that to perfection. Surely they're well and truly out of sight now. Beaten to it. A really impressive run through. It's opened up nicely for him. Red. And a goal. Unbelievable. Riveting, ruthless, relentless. In a straight duel like that, there was only going to be one winner. Well, when you go one on one with the keeper, you can't afford any indecision. And that was decisive and clinical. He'll be taking the match ball home. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. He's on his way. Now an opportunity to cross. They're not quite out of danger yet. He's onside. And he crosses to the centre. Time whistle within sight. Fred. Can he now find a finish? Off he goes. There it is. This game has already ceased to be a contest. I wish I'd played with somebody like that. Just give him the ball and let him go on a run. What quality. Absolutely wonderful. He just went all the way. It's a treat, that one. Red. He's got in. Fred. The referee blows and it's all over. We've seen some fantastic finishing from this team with real attacking class throughout. Their opponents didn't stand a chance. And all that remains is for me to thank my co-commentator Jim Beglin as our live coverage comes to a close this evening.